In this demonstration, we're going to utilize the Virtual SAN HealthCheck plugin to identify a network health problem. Here, you can clearly see that there's a network status misconfiguration issue detected. Let's look at the general settings to identify in details. You can clearly see now again that the misconfiguration has been detected on the network. One or more hosts cannot communicate with the Virtual SAN data store. Let's look at the Disk Management tab and see whether or not there's a network partition in place. From looking at the settings of each individual host within the cluster, you can see that all three hosts are not all participating in the same network partition group. This is a problem. Let's look at the HealthCheck plugin and identify what is currently going on. First, the data health is at risk, as there might be some objects that are unable to provide their availability requirements because of a lack of access to the actual data store. When we look at the network health, we want to validate whether or not all of the host multicast settings are currently matching. Here, you can clearly see that one of the hosts has a mismatched configuration on the multicast IP addresses. This is easy to fix. Here, we want to identify whether or not there is a virtual SAN cluster partition. And again, here is validated where two of the hosts are in one partition and the third is not. This is quite simple to fix. Let's open up a command line terminal to the actual host with the problem and identify its current network settings for virtual SAN. Here we can identify the settings as they were reported by the virtual SAN health check. And now we're going to modify the settings by adding a matching network configuration as the others within the cluster, which means adding the same agent multicast group address as well as the master group multicast address so they can now have the same configuration and now the host will now be able to communicate under the same network partition group. Once the new settings are applied, we can validate whether or not the configuration has been applied. And it does. Now we come back out to the actual vSphere web client and do a retest on the virtual SAN health check plugin. The retest will rerun as checks and now you can clearly identify that everything is green. There's data health all the virtual SAN objects are healthy. No problems or issues are shown here. From a network health perspective, all the virtual SAN NICs are currently configured correctly. And now we have all matching multicast settings on all three members of the cluster. Let's see what else is being reported during the managed interface. In the general setting, the network error has now been cleared and is out and is now acting as normal. If we go back to the disk management tab, we want to identify whether or not the network group partition has been corrected. And here you can clearly see that all three hosts are now communicating under the same network partition group. This concludes this demonstration. Thank you for watching.